Good afternoon and welcome to Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School in Hardwick, Vermont. It's HCTV bringing you Hardwick Hazen Union Wildcat Baseball. That's baseball on a perfect day for baseball. You're watching on HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, The Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day. You can get breakfast and takeout all day. Check out the daily specials. Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnc.org. Jumpstart your future. Michael on tech, Art on camera, Jim helping us out today, Ivan with his expert analysis, and Lance all here playing tag along. How you doing, Ivan? I'm excellent, Lance. How are you doing I'm today? I'm doing well. Beautiful uh, day. Yeah. Uh, today's game, well, let's see. We're at 4-6 and six division, 4-8 and eight overall. Linden is 7-1 division, 8-3 and three overall. We're fourth in capital B. They're first in capital A. Well... Tell me, what do you know, Ivan? Uh, Lyndon has a very good program over there. Um, and I know several of the athletes and the adults, the parents over there, with, due to hockey, because Andrew played hockey over there. Right. So he has a few teammates from his Viking days as a, a hockey player over there. And I think they're all going to meet. Last year they had a little uh, push and shove match going on, and they were horsing around like they were boarding on the ice. And nice. the, the umpires really thought they were... Going at going it. At it. <laughs> so it was quite a, it was pretty funny. Should be a good game. Hazen, of course, coming off that uh, big win over Randolph here Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Got uh, beat them 11 zip. We played North Country at North Country on Saturday. Senior night next Tuesday when we'll be hosting Harwood on the 28th. And then they finish next Thursday, the 30th, at Lake Region. So we're down to just a few games left all of a sudden here. Mm -hmm. Where's the time gone? It's going by extremely fast. Yes, it is. <laughs> and with senior night, on Tuesday. I know the extended forecast doesn't look great, but... The weather guessers have been known to be wrong. Well, the other night it just barely missed us, yeah. right? I mean, it. I, I think yeah. it literally went right over the top of uh, it that the it HPD. Did. I agree. We, uh, we had a close call. Lucked out, unlike how we did when uh, we played Oxbow up here where we got rained out a bunch of times, so... But, uh, Fortunate for me, I, I missed that game, but... <laughs> yeah. No. yeah. No. Well, we missed it, too. We ended up packing up and, and, and taking off, so... Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> Here today, Ivan, on this Lucky Penny Day. Today is Lucky Penny Day. You, speaking of Lucky Pennies, have you done any more panning for gold and found any... <laughs> Clandestine firearms down there in Lemoyne River? Uh, I have not, and I, uh, but I did hear a story from a gentleman who said he lost a pistol a long, long time ago. Mm. And uh, this thing is just encrusted to the point where it barely is recognizable. So huh. um, it looks like it was an underwater salvage, yeah. you know, in the ocean type of thing. Right. So, But I'm still looking forward to yeah. maybe finding the story out of it. So tell me, are you a fan of the uh, Bering Sea Gold TV show then? I think that's what got me into panning. That's what got you into <laughs> <laughs> that and Josh Wells. There you uh, go. Yeah. So. And I believe we're streaming live today on YouTube for anybody that uh, is tuned in. Give us a shout out uh, in the chat. Let us know where you're where you're watching from today. That's exciting that we got uh, a, a live stream. Michael got it hooked up to the Wi-Fi last game and had a few viewers, and hopefully we get a few more today. Kind of excited to live baseball here. <laughs> and you know, Lance, I think it's the weather, but again, we've got a very good crowd going yeah, again. Yeah, real good crowd. Of course, Linden's going to travel good too. You know, but true, it's close to home, but, but and I then see again, on the home side, there's a lot of. You know, we'll get the we'll get the what is that house or uh, five o'clock? The five o'clock once yeah. everybody gets home, you know. Definitely. So, but beautiful day, and we got a grill going in the back of us. I, I know I can smell it. It's good. I don't know if that's the prom committee or what they're doing back there, but we'll have to patronize them today. Absolutely. So we're moments away from the opening pitch. Teams, uh, captains had their meeting out there at home plate. Uh, Hazen takes the field. Andrew Menard on the plate on the uh, mound today. Yeah. Does he ever talk to you on game days about pitching or anything like that? You know, he doesn't. I asked him last night what the what the game plan was, and he said win, yeah. and uh, he would be throwing. Right. Um, but I just heard of this. Uh, Sean, the head coach, made a, a deal with his players. 
I found this out last night. If they won, he told the boys they could shave his head. <laughs> so after, okay. pra after practice last night, they sat down and gave him a high and tight, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to uh, try you to... You got to motivate the troops. Yeah, you got to motivate the troops. Yeah, we'll have to get a... Will they do it on camera? <laughs> uh, it was last night that they did that, so... It was, it was very hot practice. I know they were pretty exhausted, yeah. and hydration is a huge part of the... Sounds like one of those old wrestling grudge matches, you know, where the loser gets his head shaved in the middle of the ring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it'll be a lot of fun coming, you know, playing a Division II team yeah. uh, with a record that's a little, you know, they're about even records. And uh, the other piece I was told by Rob Montgomery was uh, Lyndon lost five or more seniors from last year. If I could ask Mr. Lucher next to me, he's giving me the north and south saying, yes, that uh, they did lose five seniors. Did the lineup here, they get, uh, well, they got uh, two seniors. And a lineup, a bunch of sophomores, a couple of juniors. Yep. So uh, Cooper Calkins, a senior going to be leading things off here for yeah. the Vikings. Now, Cooper has, he started over with Danville in the Little League over there, and we've, he's been on every All-Star team uh, along with the Lucher family next to us here. But there's several kids in this group that we know, and they're just, uh, I guess, you know, they're not really kids anymore, that's for sure. But Cooper has a, a lot of speed and a good arm. He always played center field and did some pitching. So it'd be interesting to see who Lineville yeah. throws today. Cooper Calkins. Uh, throwing today is going to be Ethan Lucher. Oh, okay. Yeah, right here. Going to yep. be starting. According to the lineup that I was given. Andrew starts with a strike right there. That's a good... Like I said, he and Coop have been playing baseball together since grade school. So they know you each know, other Little League well T-ball eh? all the way up through. A little bit low there, Lance, but a good right down the pipe. We've got Jake Davison at first. Justin Montgomery playing second. It looks Jake to be third. by Grayson at short. There's a hard shot ball down the line by Coop. Oh, Dan DeGrosliers makes a little. That's going to be a triple. Two. Oh, no, he's going to hold him at second there. Start things off with a double for the Vikings here. Yeah. A little bit of a misplay by Dan out there in the outfield. Yeah, slight. Yeah. Second. Logan Wheeler, a sophomore, up now. For the Vikings. Now, Logan did a lot of All-Stars with us, and he did the 18U All-Star team as well. Another nice pitch right there. Good heat coming down the middle. Uh, Logan was on our Connecticut team three years ago that we went down to Connecticut for the 18U, and then we won. We had won the state championship down at North University. Nice. That was a nice pitch. That was a very nice pitch. Oh, and to the count. Um, so rounding out the field, we have Jake Hayden over at third, yeah. and then uh, looks to be Fenton Myers and right. That's uh, to the gap. Curveball. We got to get that in. See if we hit our relay. Holding Cooper at third. He held in on that curveball. So. And now we've got yeah. Ethan Lucher up. We just heard Joe call the play for the throw. We're looking to see the first baseman steal here. Andrew checking the runner. Yeah, these top three lead batters, like, again, we've played ball with these guys right along all the years. Bunt, shot in the bunt. Oh, there it is, yep. So now we got runners at second and third. Lucher at the plates. Fenton's laying in deep. Uh, I'm thinking he's respecting the power. Oh, that's a foul ball. 
who do we have at bat now, Lance, just to make your job harder? This is uh, Ethan Lucier. About. Okay. Yep. Coming up next is Wyatt Mason. Inside. High and inside. Delivers high and inside again. Three and one. Yeah. No outs. It's a tough, tough place to be right now. Yep. There's a strike. Looks like it's full up now, Lance. Three and two. Yeah. Let's see what Andrew deals in here. Laying in. There Fast it is. Ball. Oh, low. Must have been low and just outside. Loads of bases up here. For Wyatt Mason, a junior. Base is loaded, no outs. Fenton's still playing deep, and Owen in center field. And uh, again, we talked about Dan DeGrosers in left. Let's see what Andrew deals here. Strike one, nice pitch. Let's see if we can get a couple out, or out here. Maybe we can uh, take care of that speed of the lead runner, hopefully. Another beauty pitch, that's down in a gap. First runs are gonna score on that that's one. That's at least two runs. Are they gonna hold him up? Hit the relay. Okay. I thought he sent, I thought he was sending him. Yep. So what, we have two runs score? Two runs came in on that, yeah. There's not much you can do about that. That's a well hit ball. Yeah. And, uh, Ball was in the strike zone, so yep. see if Andrew starts to mix it up a little more. Maybe he can get his curveball moving. Mason into second with a double. There's a high fastball. And that brings up uh, Parker Thompson, a freshman. Comes the pitch. That's going to be a strike. Yep. Let's see what we have here. There's no small ball to be played this early. No. Oh, right up the middle. Right up the middle. That's going to score are, at least this one. Is, uh, He's sending them down. Throw in. Oh, there was a nice throw. throw. Nothing there. Two more That was score. a nice throw, though. Thompson yeah. in with a double. This, two more score. Yeah. Andrew's uh, fastball was right in there. Their residency right now. This brings up Cannon Fillion. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Well, the man with uh, Thompson on seconds. They send the runner. No run. There's a strike. That's a nice curveball there. Good pitch, Andrew. I guess we're going to have to just tighten up on our leather if we can get a playable ball. Right now, they're just hitting it well. Right. Still no outs. See. No. That's another nice pitch right there. It's, this is going to be number six batter Only here. Two. Yes, seven. it is. Uh, number six. Oh, runner staying. Strike three. There we go. Right, there you go. Nice job. Get the strike out. Gain a little confidence. Jackson Dwyer up now. So one we got, no four, so we gotta get the runner at first here. Just low, just low. Runner's not taking much of a lead out there, Lance. Another. No, he's just kinda content to hang out there around second. Yeah, I guess I take that back. That that pitch must have been outside, Lance. Um, because he just sent one right down the middle, so I'm, I'll see if he brings a curveball. Nice pitch. See, I think he took some of that with a little bit of a changeup. Yeah, I'll just say it took some off. Took a little bit off that. That's why out ahead of it. Uh -huh. One and two. 
Come on. Ooh, nice. what a play. Nice play. Grayson lays out, makes Beautiful a huge play. play for us. Keeps nice the runner job. second. Runner, the runner can't advance. You know? Exactly. Two we got. This is what we need right there, guys. Great job. Griffin Lawson, a sophomore, up now. Justin just holding the runner a little bit, getting back in the position. There's a strike. Very good start. For the first inning, Andrews, he's pitching very well. Mm -hmm. Right where we want to be, we're just going to get our sticks going here when we get up. That should be, that's going to be hard. Call it, boys. All right, Justin, good job. Look at the range on that, that speed. Coming over from second base. Yep. So after a rough start, he gets his, his final three batters. So uh, strikes out and then a couple of flyouts, yep. a couple of beauty plays by his defense behind him. Yep. Keeping him in there. So, so at the get... end of the uh, top of the first, it's the Vikings four. Hazen, get up and see what they can do. So for us, in between innings, I thought I'd have a little fun. Yeah. And um, I have some trivia and fun questions prepared for Lance. He okay. got chosen to participate in the first All little. Right. So, so I'm going to ask a question at the <laughs> top of each inning, in between innings. And, yeah. and um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll wait a little while. Or if Lance knows it right, a, right away, then our viewers can tune in as well. Um, and um, so I'm just gonna. The questions will get harder. I have a total of six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is uh, no pressure, Lance. All right. Do and I have to answer in the form of a question, or can I just no, answer? no, okay. no? We're gonna keep this as kind of a cash cab okay. little, you know, All thing. Right. But uh, I was gonna ask Michael or Art to read what he's playing for, but never mind. He's gonna be playing for an autographed baseball by oh. yours truly. Ivan Menard. Ivan Menard. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've never felt so much pressure. And uh, why I'm going to sign is because in 1987, I threw a no-hitter in Richford. Okay. And lost the game. How? Well, that's a totally different story. And okay. it's, it, you know, this this is a game show about you, Lynn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh there's a couple rules, Lance. You can you can use a shout out. Okay. And you can use a phone a friend or okay. one text message. All right. <laughs> okay. No pressure, Lance. All okay. Right. So the first question. This is in in honor of Arthur here. Okay. And I'm gonna keep track of the score. So real quick, fifteen love, thirty love, forty love. What sport is this? And what does love equal? We are playing tennis, and love equals zero. <laughs> Yay, Liz. Point for Lance. little golf clap here for the tennis question. <laughs> <laughs> that one went a little too easy. I, th I think you're going to really well, excel at this okay. game. Okay. Right. Up comes Fenton Meyer. I like this. This is good. <laughs> and I've got a little trivia that's going to hit home. With you, Ivan. Oh, some trivia. All Victor. right, I'm not good at. It's gonna hit home with you when I when I. Aha. Uh -huh. Fenton Meyer, double do, stepping up here. Let's see if he uh, uses that bunt and the speed, or he's having him swinging away. Hello. So we had Ethan Lucier on the uh, mound today for the Vikings. Mm -hmm. Be nice, his rather large father is sitting right to our left. I am, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to be extremely, uh, nothing egregious is going to happen today. There you today. go. There we oh. go. You know. Anything happens like that, I'm just not going to see it. I'm going to be looking away. I didn't catch that, Ivan. I was looking away. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> in the dirt, so 0 oh 2. Let's see what happens. What are we dealing here? A lot of speed. Dealing from the oh, nice cut by yeah. Fenton. Nice swing. Maybe just a touch behind that ball. Swinging for the fences on that one. Yep. Could have a fast bat or slap it. And let's see what we got here. Oh, Bell battling. Going 
Going from the wind up still, here we go. There's that curveball. Oh, said he went. So uh, none of the coaches questioned it. So yeah. I mean, it looked like he went out there pretty far with it. I don't, yeah. I don't think he could really dispute too much. Owen scores did. One down. You know, Lance. I was talking the other night in in the game, and when Owen there. Belt Good hit. start, right on it, right off the bat. But when Owen pushed the ball to the right, remember we were talking about that. I said, I wonder if he's going to go for it. And he did. Yeah. And then the next batter was Andrew, and he did the same thing. And I, I think once these guys dial in on their speed, but for this game, but I, I just said, you know, the, the thought and the confidence that these guys go up there when they bat. Yeah. You know, at this age, to just say, look at that gap and hit it. So. Right. Center fielder's playing very deep. Here we go. Oh, another drop ball. Oh, get there, get there. Oh, he's safe. Oh, no. Yeah, I was going to say, it looked like he. Now, how was that scored? So it was a drop third strike. Okay. And I don't know if that's an error. Or I think it's just called the drop third strike. Okay. So Andrew Menard. Two down. Yep. Oof. Two up, two down. See if Andrew can put the stick on the bit, on the ball. Started with a curveball, a little inside. That had some pepper on it. Yep, that was a good fast pitch there. Here we go, Andrew. Oh, right off the plate. Yeah. Making Second contact. Pretty, yeah. And uh, three up and three down yeah. for the Wildcats and their half of the first. So at the end of one, mm -hmm. it is the Linden Vikings four, Hazen nothing. Let's read our sponsors. Ivan, you are watching HC uh, Hazen Wildcat Baseball on HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, the Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day, breakfast and takeout all day. Check out their daily specials and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnc.org. Jump, start your future. All right. Let me uh, let me give you a little couple of tidbits of, of my trivia. Not you know, no questions, just. Uh, but today is Marvin Hagler's birthday. Oh, born in 1954, <laughs> passed away in 2021. He was a he was born in Newark, New Jersey. I didn't know that. And his parents moved him out after the riots in 1967. That's oh. when they said, we've had enough of Newark. We're going to go up to Brockton and hang out. <laughs> Brockton, of course, known as the City of Champions. Yeah. Probably because you were there for a little while. I don't know about that, but yeah. yeah. I mean, we're, uh, and we're talking, all right, we're talking Rocky Marciano and Marvin Hagler. Yes. You know any other famous athletes or athletic people or people involved with athletics that came out of Brockton? Oh. Off the top of your head? Off the top of my head? I'm drawing a blank. There's I'll give you another a couple. boxer. Uh, I don't know about a boxer. Kevin Stevens, who was a hockey player for the Devils, who could lay a shoulder oh. out. Took a lot of people out. Yeah. All right. Steve Balboni, baseball player, played for the Yankees mm -hmm. for a while. Didn't know. And that. I did not know this until I got looking this up. Al Davis, the owner of the Raiders, was born in Brockton, Mass. Really? I, I, it, I read it on the internet. It's got to be true. It's got to be true. It's got to be true. Yeah. All right. You know, to, to leave Jersey and go to Brockton, that's uh, uh, I guess it's a good trade. Right? Carter Morey up for Lindenville. Well, apparently the riots were pretty nasty down there mm -hmm. uh, back in the 60s. Uh, a lot of, well, I can tell you, I'll tell you a little bit about this. Uh, yeah. I, I did some reading on it. Andrew deals a high, high fastball there. His family was basically prisoners in their own apartment for like three days. Really? The parents told them not to stand up, not to go in front of any windows. They couldn't even sure. stand up. They got around by crawling. Oh, boy. Come on. Oh. Oh. I still save the throw now. Sharply hit ball. The short stop. 
Grayson knocks it down. Brings us to Cooper. So back to the top of the order. Mm -hmm. Cooper Calkins, who doubled and then scored uh, off one of the hits there in the first inning. I imagine we're going to see the runner go here. Um, going to take second? I'm almost certain of it. Guy looks like a speedster, Andrew. Keeping him Andrew honest over there. The runner, though. Oh, I think I might have just spoke over you, Lance. I apologize. No, that's I'm fine. Sorry. Okay. That's fine. 4-0 in the, in the second. You know, uh, I imagine he's going to be taken off. Yep. There he goes. Ball Throw inside. <sighs> Throw was just behind him and in front of him, Lance. Yeah. Just kind of going bit. the wrong way to catch the runner. Roger. Yep. Yep. I don't know that he's going to try third, but we'll see. Nope. He's pitched just outside. Uh, my mistake, Lance. I, he gave it. They gave him a strike on that other. And that other one. Okay. I was gonna say, I'm I can't quite one see. I'm one but I, one one? I could be missed just barely over the fence there. There's a foul out of play. Oh. Oh. Well, we did get a car. Yep. I didn't hear any glass breaking. No, no splash. I think it was more of a bumper. Okay. Justin's holding the runner at second base. Trying to mix things up a little bit. Better call on time out here. Yeah, now the board is right, two and one. Mm, just high. high. Yep. Let's see. Several. Justin is camped out at second base, holding that runner. That's out of play, up back of us. Just missed another car. Yep. We had a good little battle so going here. Counts full. That is a nice hit ball. Foul ball. Just foul. Just fell. You know that the breeze is good. I, I, I like it. Keeping some of this heat off. I had 79 degrees in the car when we came off. Yeah, that's about what I had on my car too. Okay. At least it's not like it was yesterday with that mugginess. It, oh boy, that was, yesterday was a scorcher. I'm not ready for that. No. See what Andrew, see if Andrew can win this battle against Cooper. Nope. Oh, got a little help there. All right. One we got. Struck him out. So this will bring up Wheeler. Another good stick. This top this top of this order is this, just very yeah. solid. Murderers the row. whole way through is a very solid batting order. Mm -hmm. There's a nice pitch. Yeah, Cooper and, and uh, Logan, they just go way, way back, so. That's, that should be a playable ball. Come on. A lot of speed. Oh, Barely all right, him. we'll take that. Yeah, that guy was flying. Advanced the runner, but we got two outs, Lance, and another very good bat coming up. Yep. Ethan Lucher up now. See if he can help his cause out. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see uh, see if he tries that gap and right center. That's a nice pitch. Maury on third. Full coaching staff down there today with Joe back. And, oh, that one got away a little bit. Lucia walked in the first inning. That's out of play. 
So there is something to be said when, when they're fouling the ball back. And right now it is skipping my my mind here. I do not know. You don't, that's going to be up to you to remember that. Oh, baby, what a rope that is. Right down the line. Dan's yeah. going to get there. A lot of speed. Or he's going to score. Yeah. Dan hits the cutoff. Push her in with a single. Yeah. And we'll have Wyatt Mason up now. <laughs> Mason the last time doubled. I think he roped it the last time. He yeah. was up too, right? Yeah. Going. It goes a runner. Oh. His dad doesn't want his mother to have to wash his uniform, so yeah. he was saying, this just coast in there. So we'll save on Tide. Yeah, let's see here. We got two outs. Maybe we can get the runner right here. We got the batter. That's going to be out of play. Jake was on it right off the bat, though. Justin working the runner. Oh, baby. That must have just missed there, Lance. Look close. That one did not. Yeah, he, there we well, go. I think he wants that one back. Yeah. You see Mason kind of. It almost looked like it was in the same spot, but yeah. obviously it, uh, it was not, but. Here we go, Andrew. Oh, Solid come on, shot out to center, score stead on Beauty play, beauty play. Got Relax. out of that with not a lot of pain. Yeah. Good so, job. One run scores. Makes it five zip going to the bottom of the second. And Ivan, what do you got next? Okay, so uh, our next question. This one is uh, in honor of Lance. So, in the year I was born, 1969, okay. the number three tongue on the top 40 was Sweet Caroline. Uh -huh. A Fenway favorite played it's in what it. inning, and who was the artist that released it? The artist that released it was Neil Diamond. Yes. Is it played for the seventh inning stretch? Very good, Lance. That okay. is... Two more. I'm going to give you three points on that. <laughs> this is going to be, I, I mean, i got to keep track of this. That's two points for hey, a total of three I want three that baseball. So far. I want that Woo. baseball. You want the baseball? I want that baseball, <laughs> that autograph. Now, no no hitter, but you lost. Tell, give, give, give us the Cliff Notes version then, maybe, if it's a long story. Uh, so the Cliff Notes would be um, walk a batter, pass ball, overthrow, pass ball, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, I'd have to look up. Mm. That was. Were any of those errors egregious? Uh, I'm sure they were, in my opinion. Yeah. But I, you know, I, I didn't even know I threw the no hitter until like a month later. When yeah. The, the coach was like, "Hey, you won't believe this, but uh, <laughs> you threw a no hitter." So. <laughs> well, I'm sure they were trying. You know. And then uh, another fun fact, Lance. We were talking about this. So I had to look it up, like okay. you. So if a pitcher throws from 60 feet and 6 inches in baseball, mm -hmm. a 60 mile an hour fastball, the batter has point one three seconds to react to that ball being pitched. Wow. So then we've been talking about our lady cats and playing with peoples and or possibly right. peoples. And they the, are. And the yes, oh, they I, do, are. I do know they do. Yes. Yep. So our lady cats, the girl softball, they pitch from 37 feet. So a 60 mile an hour fastball, a 60 mile an hour pitch, the batter has a reaction time of only 0.36 seconds. That's not a lot of time. It doesn't seem it to me. No. So that pitch equivalents to an 84 mile an hour fastball in baseball. From that was a nice pitch right down the center for Dan. That one looked it was. So really, I mean, when, when you go to swing, you don't have a whole lot of time. But th th now I'm thinking, square it up to bunt. You know. There's a nice cut by yeah. Dan. 
but just to identify that it's a hittable pitch. Yeah. And then I in coordination and uh, above choice. my technology. Yeah. To put this together, and at my age I couldn't do it with a oh, a little behind it with the end it goes down one two three there. Bring up Jake Davison next as uh, Lucia's making short work of the Wildcats today. That's his, uh, well, his second strikeout. He had to drop third strike on Scorstead. Mm -hmm. And uh, his second, like, you know, call strike. Andrew uh, flew out there in the infield, so. Here we go, Jake. Uh, I don't know where that one was. That one looked like it was good. I think we'll see Sean trying some small ball later in the inning here. We still have a lot of good sticks coming up. That's a strike for sure. Jake's digging in. One and one. Oh, Young Mr. Lucier. Nice stop by uh, Lawson there, the catcher. You know, those catchers, they should make protecting for their forearms. They take yeah. a lot of balls on their forearms. Oh, Jake gets a piece of that one. That's sunscreen. Anybody wants it? I put some on when I left. I might take a dab. Oh, excuse me. I'm good. Everybody can hear me. My nose seems to be cooking. Thank you. Yeah. Two and two. Nice, oh, struck him out. nice cut by Jake, though. Yeah. That was a nice pitch right down the pipe. Grayson McNaughton up next. Three strikeouts now for Lucia. All right, let's see if Grayson can follow up that great catch out there. Yeah, made a pretty with, uh, catch. Striking the ball because there is a big gap out there. Oh, that was a nice pitch. And you know, with this speed, Lance, we're more likely to hit it into right field, and and maybe we can catch this gap just, you know, from the speed of the pitching. Now, by saying that, you mean they're going to be ahead on the pitch? A, a little behind on a the pitch. Okay. There's a nice curveball that went lay in on right there. When he got that point three six seconds, exactly, because you know. <laughs> he's got to be throwing. Yeah. You know, I, I I can't read the speed of a ball, but he yeah. he's throwing hard. Yeah. Probably one of the harder pitchers we face this year. That Great. see. Three up and three yeah, down. Three down. Three yep. strikes in that inning. Four overall for Lucier. As the Cats go down swinging in the third. Or in the second, at the bottom of the second, we'll move to the third with a score five zip. And uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, with Hagler with those Newark riots, uh, for three days they were trapped in their apartment. His mother wouldn't, they told him and his siblings, don't stand up, don't move in front of a window, don't even stand up. They had to literally crawl around on the floor. And two bullets went in through like, a, I don't know, a window, a door, a wall, something like that. Mm -hmm. and the bullets were flying, it was pretty. So that's when they moved up to Brockton, the city of champions. That well. Now were you born in Brockton? Or? I was actually born in, in Marlboro and then my, my family moved to Brockton. Okay. Marlboro, Massachusetts and then to Brockton. Not very far difference. Right. But. I think I had said it before, like my dad on Sundays, we would go for a little ride, he and my brother and I, and you'd see Marvin <clears throat> out jogging, working, oh. you know, and you could pull up beside him and toot the horns, hey, you know, but yeah. being a little kid, you know, all I knew it was Marvin Hagler, I did, you know. Yeah. So the That's TVs cool. were the size of an F-150 pickup back in those yeah, days. Exactly, so, yeah, exactly, yeah. You know. Yeah. I still say. He beat Sugar Ray. <laughs> I will 
forever say that. <laughs> I'm going to look up that one tonight. He then, beat Lance. Sugar Ray. Yeah. Watch it on YouTube. He beat yeah. him. Sugar Ray got the decision, but Hagler beat him. And if you if you want a second opinion, ask Travis Hill. Really? So, yeah, Travis. Yeah. Ah, I just watched the Sugar Ray uh, fight the other night. Some highlights from one, and I don't remember who he was. Uh, his opponent was, but I mean, Sugar Ray was great. Yeah, no, sure. nice talent, but Hagler beat him that night. Yeah. Hagler would have to be younger too, right? <sighs> Outside. I mean, I would have to look that just up. Just a little I, bit younger. Because I know, maybe? I know. Leonard was in the you know the twilight of his career, and that's what even made it more inconceivable. Sure, you know. Here we go, Andrew. There's an off-speed pitch right there, trying to mix it up, one and one. Top of the third inning here at Hudson Fields on a picture-perfect day for Beautiful. baseball. And there's just more and more people coming in for yeah. the game, Lance. They'll be here. See, that's a catchable ball, Fenton's. He's camped out underneath it. There we go. Nice Good job. Catch. Thompson fly out to right. Uh, and this brings up uh, Cannon Fillion, a sophomore. I think Fenton made two steps to his left and had plenty of time. He had that ball right off the bat. Fillion was uh, Andrew's first strikeout there back in the first. Jackson Dwyer in the on deck circle. Here we go. Oop. Our catcher's trying to frame that ball, and you, you know you see a catcher take that ball, and they and they bring their glove yeah, and they try to posture. Yeah, like it's in the strike zone. And they call it framing the pitch. There's a nice pitch. Fouled off again. No, no vehicular casualty. Yeah, right no, on no, one. no. One and two, the count tonight. Just hear the umpire say. See if Andrew can win this battle here. How to play again into the crowd. Everybody's safe, though. Oh, our sponsor is right down here, too, from the Village Restaurant. Lynn's here today? Yeah, I just, I just picked her out yep. down there, yeah. Excellent. Here we go, Andrew. Taking a lot of pitches. Got a good battle here, though. Just outside and in the dirt. I'll tell you, Lynn did the... Uh, we had my dad's celebration of life at the Legion this past mm -hmm. Saturday. Lynn did the food, and it was excellent. Mm -hmm. So not only can you go there and, and get a good meal and get takeout and breakfast and everything, if you need something catered, excellent Definitely. food. And Andrew, no. He's going to load it up. We got we get uh, full count. You know, Lance, is, it, our stories seem to mirror one another because Lynn did my mother's really? funeral service. Yeah. Um, oh, a that's solid gonna, shot, that's to right. a shot it's down to the right safe. line there. Yeah. Fenton Speed right on it, though. Hits the cutoff. Philly and singles. Sharply hit ball to right. So that's two in a row to right field. So I don't know if they're tracking his... Uh, that wasn't an off-speed pitch, but I, I'm wondering if they went with it. And that was a breaking ball. But we'll see if the runner stays here, if he has the speed to attempt it. Dwyer up next. Nice start. Just outside. Runner's going. There he goes. That's a strike, though. Sends the down in. round down. Yep. Cannon says, huh, say I'm not going to run? Watch this. <laughs> We're trying to pick look, up signs here, yeah, Lance, right? Look what I got. <laughs> the trailer. Checking a runner. <laughs> Nothing. This runner's going to stay. Let's see what we do here. Andrew delivers from the windup. Inside. Three and one. 
<laughs> no four, so maybe we can get a play at yeah, play it first, first yeah. base. Runner doesn't have much of a lead. In the dirt, Hello. now he's going to go. Walk for Dwyer brings up uh, Griffin Lawson, who flew out to second base. I think that was the play that... Uh, so here we go. We know the runners yeah. should be taken off, whether it's the first pitch or the second pitch. And we'll see if Joe puts out a play. There it is, if everybody heard that. I wonder if Andrew will check the runner on this one. Nope, he's going. Runner advances. I don't believe that was a planned pitch out. Um, I think that one just went outside. Bottom of three, five to zero. Runners at second and third. That's out of play Cuts. behind us, Lance. Oh, somebody moved their car. They decided they did not want <laughs> to take a chance again. Take a chance. <laughs> no body work today. We should get like a body shop to sponsor us up here. Windshield World or something like that, you know? Well. Auto, auto glass place. Uh, yes, down on the you corner. Know, we'll talk with the... Uh, you know, get your windshield broke in a hazing game and you get a yeah. discount on your fix, you know? <laughs> talk with Mr. Mercer down on the corner. Yeah. There's a good pitch. Oh. Or uh, Chad Brochu with uh, Elite. Oh, yeah. Auto yeah, glass. Chad, yes. Chad does oh, some fantastic yes. work. And... and uh, and they, well, they were involved in Little League for sure, yep. yeah. Let's see if we can pick up some uh, leather here. Nope. Andrew walks. Walks. Base is loaded. But Dean does great work well. Oh, sure. Well. Yeah. And uh, I had the pleasure one time of uh, courtesy runner going out. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Chase Sandville going out to run for uh, Lawson. So we got bases loaded here. One out, top of the third. And who's our batter? Carter Morey, uh, left fielder, sophomore, uh, bottom of the lineup. Uh, Sean, Sean wants talk. to talk it over. Yeah. Um, I had the pleasure of calling Dean Mercier's, uh, I think it could have been his last boxing match. Remember a number of years ago when oh. they brought gold gloves boxing into mm -hmm. the elementary school? Yeah. And, uh, Wasn't that Armin Gillino? Armin Gillino was there. Yeah, yeah, he was there that night. Yeah, I think, I'm sure he had a big hand in it. Um, yeah. Ernie Farrar was the, was the guy that I talked to, was my point man for everything. Yep. And I was, and I was privileged enough doing the announcing to be able to sit right ringside, basically at the scorer's tables, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't realize how vicious boxing is until you're that close, you know? You watch it on TV, yeah, yeah. he tags him. You sit back, yeah, that's a good shot. You sit three feet from him and you see that, yeah. <laughs> you see that glove hit him. You know? oh. and, the, the, and the work, I can see the footwork and the, the cardiovascular mm -hmm. and everything is just... Just dance around for two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Let alone hold your hands up and then have, you right. know. Have somebody, you know, try and bob and weave and avoid somebody hitting you. Yeah. All right, base is loaded for Maury. That's a good start right there. You know, in some ways, if it's an infield hit, we c we have the potential to double this up, mm. whether it be lead runner or you just. But typically, we go for the lead runner. We're still in this game. It only five. Oh, good job by our catcher there. Very yeah. good job. Landon Miller behind the plates. I think Andrew did the same. A little overthrow there. Trying to dig himself out of this one. Beauty. Come on, come on. There we go. One, Got the one. one oh, baby. Pull this foot, maybe? Or was it... Uh, Joe wanted that. Joe Rivard wanted that call yeah. just as bad as I did, Lance. But yeah. that was a sharply hit ball. So Maury singles. I missed how many two runs score? Uh, no, it should have been just one. Yeah, just one. Lance, I'm, I'm impressed. I I did not realize okay. how much sports you were around all those years. To hockey, boxing, yeah. you yeah, know, all was, the years, you know. Uh, yeah, that was the only time I did boxing. 
the only time yeah. I was ever in, involved in anything with with boxing, but uh, it was it was definitely an experience that I'll never forget. Oh, you I'm know, sure. To, uh, to be able to do that, I had Ryan Reno I had my sound system up on a stage. Ryan Reno was with me. He played the music. Runner goes. Yeah. Runners in easily. Uh, yeah. I, I think uh, that pitch missed just a little bit high. So back to the top of the order. Fenton's way off the line now. He's he's closing up that gap a little bit more. Yep. I don't know if you'd notice that if uh, mm -hmm. Sean or Joe made an adjustment or uh, TJ. I'm not sure. Beauty one. I think Cooper wants that one back. Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of nodding. Uh, I believe Andrew took a little one off of that little. Cooper and Andrew were buying and selling dirt bikes from one another really? for years. You know, we'd go to All Stars or, or you know, during the regular season, and we would run down and they were buying bikes back and forth. Nope, that, that one got away for high. sure. A little high. <clears throat> Three and one. Andrew has thrown a lot of pitches so far. See if you can rope it in here. Nice. Foul shot down the third baseline. I want to see uh, Andrew get the out here so we can uh, do your next trivia question. I'm excited. <laughs> <Ivan>. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get uh, some leather going. Oh, that's ball four. So Calkins walks. That walks. leads to another good bat. We'll load up the base. Yeah, with Wheeler coming up next. With bases loaded. Mm. He's going from the windup, which limits. It limits his ability. Oh, he just slipped off the mound on that one. Lost his footing. A little bit of an overstride. So if he goes from the windup, you know, he can't check the runner that way. So you know he's going after the batter now. And uh, let's leather it up, boys, and try to get out of this inning here. Had a little help on that one. Again, that high fastball. Yeah. It looks like a big mat coming down. So hard to lay off of that pitch. One and one, you count. Two outs. Bases loaded. Top of the third. Vikings currently leading six zip. That's a strike. Straight down. That was, that was straight down. Now Pretty Andrew has pitch. a little room to work. Let's see if he brings in a curveball. But... Now with two strikes, does Wheeler swing at anything, or does he take? Uh, he's he's a very good batter. So if this is down the pipe, he you know the coach has got him green light. He's a big strong kid. Oh, this should be Old a routine chopper. play. Come on, Andrew. There we go. There we All go. Right, Look at the course. speed that he yeah. generated going down the line. Yeah. There. I mean, I want to talk about our kids, but uh, I've known all these guys. Yeah. Oh, that we had, yeah. There was one other runner went down there. I mean, he mm -hmm. was flying. Just, you know, he's got to be six three or more, yeah. or not six three, but that's a lot of speed going yeah. down the line. So. Uh, I'm sorry, Lance. To, I, uh, but good job for our wild, our boy, our men down there to absolutely get out of that inning with not a lot of pain because we're still in this. So, okay. So this leads us to question number three. All right. And uh, how far apart are horseshoe stakes? Is it a 125 feet? <laughs> B 15 feet or C 40 feet and again Lance you can have a shout out <laughs> you can have a phone a friend or a text a friend but to go over that again it is A 125 feet from stake to stake right. B 15 feet or C uh, 40 feet Mr. Lister, I, I think, I, knows the. I know, he is I know it's not 125. Uh, I'm going to go C, 40 feet. It's got it's to be. Lance, again. Yeah. Lightning Lance, you're just, <laughs> you're just knocking it out of the park. I, 
nobody plays horseshoes anymore but in Lenneville. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be a league in town. Yeah, there used to be, yeah. They used Lance. to have a big tournament up in Standard. Did you ever go to the one in Standard? Yeah. Huge tournament. What, Labor Day weekend, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah. Yep. At the church there in Standard. Right. All the old timers used to come out. Who's the one guy? Withers used to be able to throw ringers all day long. Yes. Was it Waylon Withers? Yeah. 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 Who could just do nothing but stand there and throw ringers all day long. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, it's so out of three questions, he has a score of four. <laughs> so this baseball is looking pretty good. And right. Here we go. I, I, I got to stop talking. Our first pitch was a strike. Justin Montgomery. Got, we're at the bottom of the order now. Justin, Jake, and uh, Landon coming up in this inning. So far, it's been three up and three down each inning. That one got away. Uh, four strikeouts for Lucia, and then the other dropped third strike. So mm -hmm. uh, the only uh, person who's really put a bat on it was Andrew when he when he hit out. Or he had a short shot to the infield back in the first. Yep. I think it's going to take a, a bat around, and you'll see. Oh, head in, Justin. His back foot came out. Little curveball there. Our seniors got to step up and. Yeah. and catch these pitches. Let's see what Justin does here. Thought about it. He thought about it, which is, that, like I said, that high fastball. Yeah. Justin digging in from the windup. Here we go. Nice. Yeah. Strike him out. A lot of speed there. Four straight strikeouts for Lucier today. He's putting on a clinic out there. He is. Yep. Um, Brenda and I talked about that before the game, actually, hoping not not to see young Mr. Lucier <laughs> out there, but it is great to, to watch him. Yeah. So see if Jake can catch him. I, I thought Sean might try a little bit of small ball here soon. Nice. Jake That's is on it, it right yeah. there. That's good. Jake. Oh. Strike two. That was that breaking ball, which is the speed is so much different there. See if he comes back with the heat and Jake can get onto it. Good eye. Called it. Oh. Called the third strike. I thought he brushed it outside, but I thought it was caught the top high. of the strike zone. We'll take it. Yep. Five in a row. Landon Miller stands in now. Try his luck today. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Sean will go with small ball at with two outs. See if he squares. Nope. Cut him swinging. It would be kind of fun to find out, <clears throat> excuse me again, just how fast. Yeah, some of these pitchers mm -hmm. are going. Strike two. Nice cut through there. Think about it, if you can just get the bat in the strike zone, right? Mm -hmm. and, and the timing down, it, this is, you know, how fast is the bird and the yeah. train and, you know, the. the yeah. Strike three. Nice cut. Nice cut. Oh, that was a strike two? Okay. I thought it was strike three. That, again, that bar is right in my way. He even called it when he released the ball. Oh, I guess. I. Sam. It must have hit the bottom of his cleats or something. Yeah. Brings up uh, Fenton Meyer. Sean giving the signs. Let's see what we do here. Now, this is our first runner that we've had on base, yeah, right, Nips? Yeah, first first person has made first base here in the oh. uh, bottom of the third. Fenton takes that uh, curveball for a strike. I imagine he's going to come back with some heat here, Lance. Going from the stretch. Looking at the run. Yeah. Oh, Fenton swing, you better get down. Nice, he's safe. 
Landon Steele. His second. foot kicked up on that in that slide, and uh, yeah, the throw to second was to the uh, left of the bag. So, so we got uh, what a two and two count over there. I think I believe I see a two and two count. I don't think Fenton meant to to swing at that. Yeah, offer on that, but now he's got to commit. Good eye. That was pretty much the same pitch that he swung at before, Lance. Three and two, yeah, look very similar place. I know you're doing stats and everything, and I, I did see, yeah, I did see yeah. the last one there. We kind of Fenton can just make some contact here. That's that curveball again. Yep. Yep. We just gotta get that dial down. Two, three, six, seven strikeouts for Lucia. Mm -hmm. Through three, catch trail six zip. Let's give our uh, sponsors here a read. You're watching uh, Hazen Varsity Baseball here on HCTV Channel 1080 on the Cable Dale Streaming Worldwide and Archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, the Village Restaurant, open six to three every day. Breakfast and or takeout all day. Check out the daily specials and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnst. Jumpstart your future. We'll move to the fourth inning. Uh, what do we got? Third, fourth, and fifth in the lineup coming up for LI. Which will be, if I've, if I've done this correctly, which will be uh, Lucier, Mason, and Thompson. Did you say... So. Okay, yes, yes, I'm sorry. I thought I misunderstood. So... Uh, Oh, and I've been completely remiss today. Uh, Arthur on camera, Michael on tech, holding down the fort today. My apologies, gentlemen. We could not be us without our sponsors or you two. Very true. Ivan Bernard providing the commentary and trivia questions. Lance all playing tag along today. <laughs> Lance is like leading the train. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, that light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> so I have a quick question. Okay. Going back to the trivia really quick, Lance. Yep, and go for uh, it. this one's a little bit tougher. Okay. But uh, you probably have nailed it anyway. So what year did Milton Rogers open the right way sports shop? Oh, my God. A, 2024. B, 1970 or C 1983 uh, 1970 1970 I think Lance is seeing my notes are you guys no. using hand and arm uh, signals we moved we moved to Hardwick in 1974 and he was pretty well established and I'll, yes. I'll, I'll give you an interesting bit of there trivia you go, Lance. I'll give you an interesting when we get a moment Andrew starts with a curveball that goes in low Lance is just uh, I, I knew it <laughs> I should have made these harder. That's a great question, though. These wow. are great. I like this. Great questions. Yeah. Hardwick trivia, too. Yeah. Oh, baby. That's down the line. He's got the end. Lucia's going to go for one. That's all you can get. Gonna that's, go for this is going with two. That's the longest double, I think. Yeah. Because we don't have a fence. And, and, you know, the Linneville folks are saying the same thing. That is the longest double. So that is a ground rule double? Is yes. that what that is? Okay. And if, if we were at, you, you know, I don't believe I've ever seen a fence here. Now, that probably wouldn't have cleared a fence. However, um, I don't know the exact footage out there. I remember Roland Tebbets hit a ball out to that rock once. He was a Cabot ball player. But, but I'm sure there are many Wildcats that hit it out to that ball. Yeah. Uh, rock, excuse me. So who do we have up next? We have... Uh, that was a good pitch. Mason up low. next. Just a little low. See what Andrew does here. Just keep it in the strike zone. And uh, there's a good pitch. Fouled off. Brings us to one and one. Still a six and zero oh game. I mean, yeah. and, and, and there's some baseball to go here. Top of the fourth. Runner on second, courtesy of the. Uh, That's double. another one in the. Dan takes a one hop, coming around, hitting two. Up, up, up. Boucher scores. Mm -hmm. Makes a seven zip. Uh, Mason in with a single. 
And this brings up Parker Thompson, who so far today has doubled and flown out to right, if all my notes are correct. Another good bat, and I, I suspect we'll see the runner go here. No, that should be a routine ball. Uh-oh. Had a little contact. Jake had a little contact with the base runner, but defensively, that would go in his favor, so. So Thompson flies out to the infield. That brings up. Uh, when first occupied, I, I believe that's called an infield fly. Because Jake could have just let the ball hit the ground and doubled him up, but right. that's why they have that infield fly. Right? Okay. Two runners going. It's a strike. I don't believe there's any outs either, Lance. From no, uh, I can tell. I'm seeing one out. Oh, um, wait, I got it right here. That one just missed. Yeah, we have one out. We do have one out. Yeah. Uh, oh, Tom's now they have it up. You're right. Yeah, that was a fly ball. Yeah, the fly ball. Like yeah. Yeah, the, the hit just barely. I do watch the game. I just forget, apparently. Well, it happens to the best of us. That's a nice pitch. Yep. Andrew's working hard out there. You know, we just, they're not, they're putting the ball in play, but it's uh Yeah. Philly in last time, single to right. Remember, that's when mm. they kind of teed off on right field with us. And then stole second. I want to give him credit Dude, for that. He ripped the middle. Andrew didn't have a play at it. No. What a throw. Ooh, got lucky. Yeah. That just caught the backstop, and that would have been extra bases from the outfield. So Mason scores. I think and, they're... Uh, they're going for the 10 run. He's trying to get as much as he can out of this. Fillion in with a double. And this brings up Jackson Dwyer. Who so far today has flown out and walked. And then stole second after the walk. Back in the uh, third inning. Mm -hmm. First pitch is low. Our catcher did a good job of blocking that ball. One out. Runner on second. <laughs> Justin is thinking about it, but the runner doesn't. Oh, foul tip. That was a change up, I believe, again. And, and he was swinging hard. One and one, you count. Uh, yeah. Dwyer. In the dirt again. I don't nice know what's going on there, Andrew. Way to work, Cat. Yeah. I think I'm uh, from the stretch. Here we go. Beauty. Oh, my goodness. A lot of speed. I guess Andrew just couldn't get to that ball, or he's uh, not looking real happy right now. This brings up Griffin Lawson, who so far today has flown out and walked. So we know they're stealing. Yeah, runners at the corner. There goes the runner. Strike. Take out the force with one out, right? We had one out up there, and now that's gone, unless I just can't yeah, it's see still it. It's okay, still there. Okay, I just yeah. can't see it. There we have the one out. Beauty pitch, that's up the middle again. Oh, Grayson just Bobbled off his heel of the glove. Run Sharply scores. hit ball. Sharply hit ball. I want to take my headset off and yell. <laughs> the dad in me wants to <laughs> talk to the uh, my players out there, but I can't. <laughs> Maury up next. <laughs> We're working hard, and that's what yeah. uh, matters for us. It seems to be a game of two extremes this year for the Hazen team. We're either getting mercy ruled or we're mercy ruling the opponent. You know, that's... Now, again, that's not a bad pitch to... You know, set up a play on and, and send it down to second, but they've just got so much speed in this lineup as well. Overthrow there in the dirt. Let's 
see what Andrew deals. If we can come back here with 2 and 0. Oh. Down. I suspect if we see a walk here, maybe another visit to the mound. I'm not sure. And it's a pretty quiet game, even from our spectators. Yeah. There's a beauty. That should be a playable ball. Cross. Oh. Drew Drake off the back. He yeah. drew uh, Jake off the back, though. Another one scores. Now we're 10 zip. Yeah. He was. <laughs> He was going to his throwing side, but I think yep. he got caught off balance to make the play. Yep. And as predicted, here's uh, with Ca top of the order coming up now with Calkins. Uh, Sean mm -hmm. goes out to the mound. Uh, so we move, you know, yeah, it's top tough. of the fourth inning still. Anybody want ice cream? <laughs> I'm good today, I think. I'm, I'm good today, Art. Thank you. But, uh, you know, speaking of Milton Rogers, mm. uh, Ivan. Back, it was the beginning of my uh, summer of my going into my senior year of high school. I casually mentioned to my dad, of course, he had bowled in a Tuesday night men's league forever down at Morrisville Bowl. Oh, yep, yep. You know, if there's a spot, I would, I, I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind giving bowling a try. And uh, he got me on, and the sponsor of the team was Milton Rogers and Right Way Sports Shop. And he, he gave me my start. And I, I was glad many, many years later. I got to talk to him, and then I thanked him. I said, if it hadn't have been for you, you know, I, I may not have gotten on a team, and I may not have, you know, mm -hmm. enjoyed the modest success that I had. Mm -hmm. you know? that's, that's why I didn't put any bowling questions in this, <laughs> that's because I knew that would be too easy. Well, for I you can then. give you a bit of bowling trivia. Ah, Chuck yeah. Norris once bowled a 300 game in bowling using really? a golf ball. Yeah. It's true. It's Chuck Norris. Using a golf ball? Yeah. No. <laughs> Oh, oh, Lance, you got it's me. It's Chuck Norris. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. All the Chuck Norris. Oh, yes, Chuck yes, Norris, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. I should have known that. Yeah. Chuck Norris doesn't do push-ups. He pushes the earth down. <laughs> yes, yes, you know, yes. Stuff like that. Yeah. There are no streets named after Chuck Norris because nobody wants to cross Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Let's, we got a minute. Let's go with one of yours. Then. Owen is uh, standing in on the mound, warming up, and while he's warming up, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to hit Lance with another question. Um, in ice hockey, Ooh. how many timeouts are each team allowed in regular play and overtime combined? Is it A? I mean, uh, excuse, yes, correction. Is it A? I'm saying this wrong. How long are the timeouts? How long are the timeouts? Yes. And and how many? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> oh, so anyway, so uh, a timeout. All right, give, give, me, give me my choices. Yeah, I'll, I'll, a, take a, I'll take a guess. 12 minute long timeout. No. B, there are no timeouts allowed. Uh, so there are timeouts allowed. Or C, a 30 second timeout. I just gave you the answer. It's got to be C. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it's got to be C. <laughs> but how many do they get? Well, Lance, that's good for another point. Okay. So take a chance. Take a shot at it. Boy, I want to say for, for for regular and overtime. Yep, combined. Combined. Each team is allowed how many timeouts? If the game goes to overtime. If the game go, goes to overtime, just I believe they. They must get like one a period, I would think. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with potentially four. Then if they go now, OT, you, could, you can have a. Sh now I'm saying during regular play, just regular play. So you can do a shout out if you'd like. Lance. I need to do a shout out to Mr. Lucia. Ask my mother, not me. <laughs> In hockey, do you get a period? Not a period. A game. A game. Yeah. Lance is using his shout out here, everybody yeah, at home. Here's my shout out. Nobody she's over there. She's getting her device out. <laughs> Nobody over there wants to. She's getting her phone out. She's. she's Win the overtime, so that would. Be no. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, we got a game. Sorry, got what a hit that was. Goodness gracious. Calkins. Sorry, Michael. Singles. Now that is, again, the longest triple, but look at the speed there. Yeah. My goodness. And with a triple, more runs mm -hmm. score. Wow. So there's... Uh, I would think you would get one a period, and then if you go overtime, you would, you would have one for that, because I remember... 
I, I remember years ago watching the Canadians when they beat the Kings in that series. They called an overtime and, and uh, a timeout in overtime, and that's when the coach found the, the Kings guy had the curved stick, you know? Uh, that's a trick question. I think so, too. It, it's, it's one a game. One one, a game. They only get one a game? Yeah. One timeout? Yep. Even with overtime? Even. Even with overtime? Unless my research is wrong. Right. But back to what a hit that was. Yeah, Owens that was dealing. Now that came off the ground. The catcher cupped it. It came up and hit the and rolled into. Or essentially hit the batter, but nothing right. of any damage. But one time was, out per game. Out. Yeah. So okay. hey, I I did okay. do my research. You did do your research, right? Okay. But. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. maybe right up the middle. Yep. Pocket that scores. was another well-hit ball. Now that that triple had there been a fence, I think that one would have made over the fence for sure. Yeah. Cooper comes in. Let's bring us up, Lucia. We're gonna give Lance point on that one too. There was the word. What 13 zip? Here we go. Another very good stick at the plate. I'm sure they're gonna send the runner. Let's see what happens if I'm right. Yep. There he goes. Nice pitch. Landon gets the practice to throw down the second. Yeah. I mean, really, why not? You have absolutely nothing to lose. This is a great time to practice your exactly. place. Exactly. You know? Yep. And with you know, with a division, oh division two school. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, you get one of these guys out. You're doing something. Yeah. yeah. One I think out. they've moved Dan into center field and. Oh, yeah. That's a long way. Oh, Justin with a play. That brings us to two down. Yeah, and two uh, Wyatt, uh, excuse Mason. me, Grayson in uh, left field. So there's the movement defensively. Where did Dan end up? Yeah. Joe, Joe is. I think he's trying to get Dan to back up. Is what he? I think that's what he was talking to. Who he was talking to. Owen checks the runner. That is going to be. I may have a play on it. Oh. Oh, okay. It did land in play. That's for yeah. sure. What do I have Mason doing? He doubled in the first. Mm. He singled in the fourth. He must have done something else in here. Am I missing one? No, because we're still in the fourth. Okay. Well, Checks well, the this runner. Is, this is the eleventh batter for uh, LA who's come up to the uh, mm. plate. Just inside. Fourth, if I'm doing that correctly. It's a lot of batters in an inning for sure. Yeah. That's tough. Yeah, now he's got Dan backing up. With the That's a good pitch. Mm -hmm. Just inside. Two and one. Two outs. And two outs. Top of the fourth. Let's see what Owen deals up here. Comes to his set. I lost it, Dan. Jake down. Jake. Over. Nice job. Nice fielding nice job there. Yep. We got to clap on that one. So this is uh, bottom of four. So we still have another inning to go, right, Lance? I believe sure. so. I mean, is there anything with a 15 run I thought I heard maybe? Yeah. Or? I'm not sure. This should oh, be bottom, bottom of four. four. Right, bottom of four. Yeah, so we'll have one so more inning. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. And uh, we're rallying the, you know, Sean's over there trying to rally the troops. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Right? Yeah. All right. Good job. You're watching Hayes and Varsity Baseball here uh, on HCTV Channel 1080. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Michael, have we gotten any shout outs in the YouTube chat yet? Nothing? Sponsors today, the Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day, breakfast and or takeout all day. Check out the daily specials. And the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lsd.org, jumpstart your future. Michael on tech, Art on camera, Ivan doing play-by-play -play and trivia, and Lance Hall playing tag-along here. Cats down 13 zip, just uh, so far it's been three up and three down. Uh, Lucia's got uh, 
Seven strikeouts. Uh, the one dropped, third strike back there in the first. Uh, the only person who made base so far was Miller back on the hit ball that was questionable. Uh, I think the only person who's put their bat on the ball was Andrew back in the third when he hit and out to the infield. So Lucius so been masterful on the mound today. He is. So right now he's throwing a no hitter. He is. Okay. And you're not supposed to talk about that. I don't want to yeah, jinx I wasn't the young man. Say that. But. Um, so he's throwing a no-hitter, but we've had two people on base. Similar to your no-hitter. Yep. So just right. by hitting some, you know. Right. And um, and I can't believe I don't I don't know if it was a walk. Was it one person on base or two? But so we got Owen digging in. Let's see if Owen yeah, comes so around. So far, on the, the, the only person we've had on Ooh. base <laughs> he, was uh, Miller on the on the hip ball, on the hip batter. Now, Owen's on that. He was right on that first pitch, and we'll see if. Owen Owen was the recipient of the drop third strike way back in the first inning. Let's see if he comes at him with heat curveball. Again, fouls it straight back. Owen two. So I imagine let's see if he comes back with the heat. Right field is right pitch. on the line. That's yeah. Strike three. Wow. Yep. Wow. Yep. <laughs> He's got to be 80. I don't know. Is he, well, he ever 80, had his? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. So Andrew's going to dig in here. Again, there's that big gap out there, but I, I think just catching that fastball, Andrew's more than capable of that. And um, let's see what he does here. There's that. Hi. I don't believe that was a changeup. I think that was a curveball. I just got away from him a little bit. Here we go, Andrew. But here we go. Went down low to get it. I went right into the batting cage there. I'm seeing one and one. Should be one and one. One out. Bottom of the fourth. In the dirt. Two and one. Now, um, he's working the mound, too. You remember when Andrew slipped back there a little while mm -hmm. ago? Yep. So, obviously, they both have a different stride. So, you see where they land. And each pitcher, you know, likes to dig in a certain way and land a certain way. Andrew goes for the high fastball. And I, two, I wonder two. if he comes back with a curve. So, if you see, typically each pitcher goes out there and works the mound. And right. when you land, because everything is repetition, mm -hmm. Andrew goes down swinging him. Got a boy. Young Mr. Menard was not happy with that. Three straight strikeouts. Yeah. Nine overall. Mm. Dan DeGrosliere. And okay. Andrew going out. Pitch count. Pitch count. Pitch count? Is it? We're hearing pitch count. Uh, that's what I wondered. So we're Saturday. having a meeting at the mound and yeah. you know, do you so here's that strategy in, in, in the chess piece, Lance. Where you know, pitch count, mm -hmm. game schedule. Yeah. Do you get the, your pitcher, uh, you know, he's working on a no hitter. Right. You know, it's not a perfect game up. up. So that's probably what they're discussing besides, you know, are we stopping on the way home to Lennonville, which I doubt it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are going to stop. Yeah. Okay. But um, it looks as though they're going to make a change. Uh, I believe they are. The, yeah. the umpire's going to a scorecard. No, it's only one day Who you guys got Saturday? Um, U32. U32? Mm -hmm. All right. So who is number two? Was he? Number two is uh, Brody Mosher. First time pitching this year. Hmm. It's nice to get to know your fans. And to know your fans. Yeah, yeah. 
So Mosher's going to take the mound as they were tracking pitches mm -hmm. on Lucher. Okay. Well, we've got a minute, Ivan. Oh, uh, yes, yes. I'm um, sorry, you guys. <laughs> I was watching the new pitcher. And, yeah. uh, okay, our last question. Last question. And, oh, and boy. Lance is, you know, he's batting 500 here the because the hockey on one was a tough one. Okay. So a widely read paper, the Sports Express, a locally published newspaper devoted to sports and youth, who was the editor? Is it A, Dan Hudson, B, Pat Huzzy, or C, Mike Clark? I, be I believe the editor. Or the, who started the yeah. paper? I believe it was Pat Huzzy, if I remember right. Bing, 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 bing. And, I think, and I think Mike Clark was in on it, though, and so, uh, Dave Burnham. No, not Dave Burnham. Uh, oh, I can see. Uh, Ken Burnham. Ken was Burnham in yeah. was in on that as well. So yeah. for all of the soup and nuts and an ice cream, plus the autographed yeah. baseball, Dan digs in. Who was on the cover of the first issue? Woo. This does, you know, this just totally. Come on, Dan. Let's see what we can do here with a new pitcher. Okay. <laughs> And I'll tell you, it's one of the three. I was gonna names. say, I wonder, if, I wonder if you, if you, uh, I wonder if you gave it away in your in your things. Uh, boy, so that's. A, a, I'm Dan gonna Hudson. go. I'm gonna go Dan Hudson. Close. Mike Clark. Mike Clark. Mike Clark was on it first. Yeah. Okay. There's a. Just must have been outside. So Lance, you very good job. Thank you. All this local history, that's awesome. Yeah, that Plus is. our kids. And. Uh, out here playing ball. Yeah. We've had a great night. Our guys are still motivated. Yeah. Dan, that's... He's kind of come in a long ways. Had to had to turn it on. Uh, that Why ball had else? a little bit of a backspin on it. Well, I don't have any local history, but I found something sort of fascinating, if you're into entertainment at all. Sure. Well, let me, let me throw... I got a baseball, baseball trivia. On this day... Joe DiMaggio hit three consecutive home runs for the Yankees as they beat Cleveland six to five. So it's a good thing he beat he hit those home runs or they probably would have lost. I didn't get the year. Oh shoot, I didn't get the year. All right. Also, on this day in 1980, the movie The Shining was released. <laughs> Do you remember watching The Shining? Uh, I was pretty young in 1980, but I'll well, uh, you've seen The Shining, though. I, Jack Nicholson. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. all that. All right, you remember little Danny in there? Is the, that the, the kid the, riding the, kid the hot wheel? The, the kid riding the, the hot wheel down yeah, the hallway. Yeah. Real name is Daniel Lolly. He played Danny. That was about the only role he ever played. He had one other role in a movie about G. Gordon Lilly, Liddy, where he played a young G. Gordon Liddy. That was the only role. Huh. He's now a biology professor in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. And the only way he was so young in that movie, they never told him he was part of a horror movie. They made him believe he was just part of a family drama. Really? Yeah. And that's the only way they could get him to do it. He was very young at that thing. Huh? I remember watching that movie <laughs> for the first time. I was with my buddy Joe Bellavance. Yeah. When Bob and Connie lived in the house behind the United Church on Lower Cherry Street. Sure, sure. Right and it was there. in the winter time, and I had to ride my snowmobile home <laughs> down sure. back of the mill, you know, by by <laughs> Pelletier Lumber. Yeah, yeah. Pelletier Lumber down I'm through sure. there. I was. <laughs> You weren't hypothermic. Oh, you were just man, shaking. I, no, I was wondering. I didn't have to change my shorts by the time I yeah, got home. Yeah. All right, move along to the uh, fifth. And, and Owen. See, now Owen prefers to go from the stretch even with nobody on base. This is uh, Parker Thompson. That's up. a nice pitch for a strike. Yeah, that movie was released in 1980. King's not a fan of it. They said they deviated too far from the book, which they did. If you've ever read the book, it, was, it wasn't even close. But uh, great flick, Jack Nicholson. Here's Johnny. Yep. And Ivan, to get you some points, when Shelly Duvall, his wife, Wendy, 
goes finally goes into the room where he's been writing all those weeks and weeks and weeks. What was the one phrase that he had typed out over and over and over on all the sheets of paper? Red rum. No, it wasn't red rum. There was one phrase he typed over and over and over and over. Can I get a shout out? You can get a shout out. Okay, to Mike. Mike, what's the answer? It's all work and no play makes a jack of dull boy. You got it. Oh. You got it. I, I was uh, not a horror film guy. I was uh, under the sheets shaking. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great flick. Yeah. Looks like we're at one and two. Owen's ahead here. Oh, that one got away from him. I could see you being more of a Sands of Iwo Jima, Heartbreak Ridge <laughs> kind of guy. <laughs> My, yeah. Uh more like a Forrest Gump character. Okay. You know, like right. a, yeah. 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 Can't go wrong with Forrest yeah. Gump. Let's see. We got two and two. Oh, baby. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up, Dan. Swatted that one. Nice job. Yeah. Great catch. Sharply hit ball. Yeah. And Dan, right off the bat again, was tracking. Drew a good it. beat on it. Had to turn a little bit, like he, you know, he put his throwing arm yep. in the direction that he was traveling. Made a beauty catch. Sharply hit ball. All right. Up next, number 15, Cannon Fillion. <laughs> that one's up and back of us here. Watch out, little fella. hit me. He was over there licking his ice cream. I think his mom saw it off the bat. So, <laughs> top of the All fifth, LA no up play. Make Jack a dull boy. boy. Oh, pages and pages and pages and pages. So that's the only thing he had typed out. Owen delivers another foul ball. Straight back. So we know he caught the top of the ball. Said that was the, one of the worst movies she ever worked on. I, yeah, oh, really? I read that in, in the Wikipedia about it. Yeah, uh, who directed that? Uh, Kubrick treated her like crap. Oh, another sharp hit hits. ball. That's in the gap, though. That one's going to fall in Everybody's for playing so deep. a single. Yeah, I guess Stanley Kubrick just really was not a nice person to her. Hmm. And that was the director. He was the director oh. of the movie, yeah. Yep. Jackson Dwyer up. So right now, we haven't seen, aside from the pitching changes, no changes in the batting order, right? Nope. Not that I have so, seen yet. Let's see if the runner goes. Oh, it gives him a strike there. Good start for Owen. Owen scores that coming in on relief. Mm -hmm. Fenton is way off the line now. I think that's Fenton out there still. Stays off that high fastball. You know, and again, like they say, that's that's not a bad miss right yeah. there. Owen oh, checks the runner. Going from the stretch still. Or obviously the stretch. Checks the runner with a throw. Once again, Cats will go on the road to North Country Saturday. Back here for senior night next Tuesday when we'll host Harwood. Finish up the season next Thursday at Lake Region. And you want to talk about a nice place to watch a ball game, Lake Region. Their field up there. Is, mm -hmm. I really like that view up that there. That is a nice view. Nice view. Both soccer and baseball. Mm -hmm. Really nice views. That's cold in the winter, though, to walk in going on this pitch here. That's a strike, though. No attempt on the runner. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I've gotten to know a lot of the kids, you know, working there in Barton at CNC. I've gotten to know a lot of kids that go to Lake Region. Sure. Let's see what Owen does here. We got two and two. One out. Right. One out. That's a nice pitch. That was just inside. This umpire has been very consistent. Um, his strike zone has not changed. It's great. Three and two full counts. There. Oh, that one got away from him. So Dwyer walks. And that brings up Griffin Lawson. 
moving down into the bottom of the lineup here. All right, now we got to leather it up. I, I, I don't think we're going to see a double steal attempt here, possibly, but nope. There's a strike. Owen reached back and sent that one right down the tube. That was another nice pitch. A little bit of a breaking right the ball dugout. there, Lance. Right into the Linden dugout. Yes. A hot shot. That was. That bounced way off. So 0-2, one out. Linden brought a very big crowd today, too. I'm, there's there's uh, a lot of Hardwick fans on that side. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> well, he uh, shook it off well. Shook it off well. Yeah. What, they normally say wear it, you know, wear it. And yeah. bring it up with the batter. All right. Bottom, uh, bottom of the lineup here with Carter. Uh, wait, no, we got number 44. Let me get this. This is uh, Chase Sandville. We saw him pinch run earlier. Mm -hmm. One down. We should be able to pick up some outs here. There's offered a high fastball again. Base is loaded. Grayson is, is very deep in left field right now. Yes. And that sun is right in, his, be right in his eyeballs. That one must have been just low for Owen. Got one and one. Oh, now Joe must have uh, he must be live streaming this too because I just talked about Grayson being deep and now he's making an adjustment. He's listening to in you, his right, defense. If once Joe hears this, he's right. gonna tell me to be quiet. Of course. <laughs> There's just so much knowledge. I, I refer to it all the time. You know, right down that line to yeah. the dugout over there. There's just so much coaching and baseball knowledge there. That should be a catch for Dan. Center, center, Dan Parks underneath it. Who's two outs? Oh, we missed the runner. We missed our cutoff. Sorry. Another <clears throat> run scores. Mm -hmm. So I was saying that you know Joe was, he's asked, he's telling him where he wants the throw to go to, and center field. It's you know who's the cutoff, right? Mm -hmm. And. Uh, Justin just didn't, or there was a lack of communication. But top of the lineup, Calkins at the plates. Let's see what Owen delivers here. Two outs. That should be catchable. A lot of sun. High ball there for Grayson. Pitches a tent and he pulls it in. Very good. Third out, but one more run score. Mm -hmm. We're going to make it 14 zip. And we'll move to the bottom of the fifth. So now this is it. So and far, um, well, other than in the fourth when Landon got hit, it's been three up and three down for Hazen mm -hmm. so far in this game. Uh, we're in the five, six, and seven spots, which is going to bring up uh, Jake Davison, Grayson McNaughton, and Justin Montgomery. So that's, you know, that's a strong, you know what I mean, right there, and with a new pitcher. Mm-hmm. Maybe yeah, right. rallying the troops again, and we'll see. Uh, One more time. Maybe, maybe our crowd can get into it and egg our boys on to get get rid of that donut on the scoreboard out there. I think, he, uh, I think the last bit of, of trivia I've got here today is World Turtle Day. For whatever that's worth to you, if you like turtles. Finding Nemo be my favorite, probably. <laughs> Wasn't that about a fish? I like the surfer dude riding the, uh, what was it, uh, the oceanic current there? The, the, what was that called, Lance, in, in Finding Nemo? Oh, I can't remember too long. Cause I, I was sort of had that on the background when my kids were watching it. I mean, we've got the firewood down. we got the Wimbledon stuff down. Yeah. You know, we got to get on, Michael, like, what species of tree... Uh, <laughs> Creates more shade in a 
a forestry plan or in a uh, you know yeah uh, hardscape plan <laughs> landscape plan or isn't that what you do right <laughs> okay so does a does a does a, a spruce or a balsam fir or does a maple tree provide more shade yeah. ding 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 <laughs> how, <laughs> how, you know what I get all. <laughs> you know what I haven't heard about a lot Michael how what are, how are things going with the emerald ash borer there uh -huh. is that at bay or now or uh, yeah if you have ashes like uh, and you yeah. Jake steps in here digging in this picture is made for Jake too here oh yeah. Low. Down low. He reached back. He put some zip on that one, but Jake's got a good bat. I'm mostly impressed I was able to read my own writing without yeah. my glasses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Jake, Ooh. nice sharply hit. Shortstop underneath. One out. Yep. I believe he that ball was to the second uh, shortstop before he could even get yeah. out of the bag. Yeah, and I got to give a shout out forward. to the catcher. He hustled down the line on that play. Backing him up. And you, you know, not many people are playing ball like that anymore. Mm -hmm. So that kid, you know, not only is he working hard catching, but he hustled down the line. That's old school. Exactly. You don't see that mm -hmm. too much anymore. Grayson digging Grayson in. Grayson McNaughton. Good eye. Grayson just keeps, you know, I, I see it every game. Every game you can see the improvement in all yeah, of these kids. The and, confidence. Uh, I mean, they're a young team. Yeah. The young team. Sean's mm -hmm. done well with them this year. He certainly has. We've been very lucky in the, our program. Oh, Going down low. Is that two and one? Two. So if we have ash trees, Michael, we still want to cut them? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are some chemical treatments for ash trees that are in really good health, but there, it's probably, it's not got a great success rate. Mm. So take them down or have somebody climb them and take them down while they can still climb them. Yeah. 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 So it's just but, but. Yeah. Logs, yeah. Let's see here, the catcher, I think he had a little damage to his glove on that. But he's fine, obviously. Oh, baby, Held yep. Painted the corner on that one. Mm -hmm. It's two and two. One out for McNaughton. I think that's two and one now. Is it? I thought I thought I saw him put up two and two. I, yeah, that, I think it's two and two oh. with one out. Yeah, now it's two and two for sure. Now it is. Yeah. Grayson just couldn't decide on that one. I'd, he's a good two strike hitter though. Left field's playing him up mighty short. Come on, Grayson. Ooh, got him bounce. on a curveball or a change up there. And uh, let's get Arthur in here. Arthur, you must have, Wimbledon coming up in what? About a, three, four weeks, isn't it? Early June? Well, the French Open starts next week. Okay. Okay. And then Rebel in the end of June. Okay. And what year did you play in the French Open? Uh, that was back in the last century something. <laughs> <laughs> can't remember what decade it was. Justin makes contact. Down, short down. Justin hustling. Speed. Throw over. It was safe. safe. All right. There we go. All right. So, you know, Lance, I didn't dare want to bring this up. So, if a baseball's coming in at 60 miles an hour, meets the bat, yeah. and the batter only has point. You know, yeah, three four, six seconds. Yeah. After a bat hits the ball, what's the reaction time for the pitcher? Yeah, not much. And uh, yeah. I, I, you know, you gotta wonder about this. So Justin Montgomery gets our first man hit. on. Oh, Jake. Jake's on it right off the I bat. I just saw that they had a thing on ESPN, the Sports Center, there about some guy for the Pirates and the speed that the ball was coming off of his bat. It was like I don't know. I think oh. you, I think you could do a little better maybe if you used the bazooka, but mm -hmm. uh, it was Time phenomenal was the speed that was coming off this guy's bat. Let's see if Sean sends Justin here. He's going. Sends him in the dirt. He's gonna get a good rebound off the net, but no time. I don't know. Thank you. 
Who is that? I, I don't know what Justin, I think Justin sure. had a little. Uh, Joe, a little bit of confusion. Was a foul tip? I, I, that's all I can figure. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. I, yeah. I guess it's Justin thought it was a foul of. tip. Mr. Lucher, I think, has the call yep. from Winnenville. Must have thought it was a foul tip and, and went back, caught it out of the corner of his eye or something. Either way, uh, the Vikings come in and uh, beat us 14-zip today. Uh, of course, like you said, Linden, a Division II school and a very good, very good mm. baseball team. Very good program up yeah. there. So you have been watching Hazen Union Wildcat Baseball here on HCTV Channel 1080 on a cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsored by the Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day, breakfast and takeout all day. Check out the daily specials at the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. GMTC.lnsd.org, jumpstart your future. Michael and Tech, art on camera. Ivan. This has been fun. <laughs> will you will you make it for the Tuesday night game, or are you going to want to concentrate on whether it being Andrew's senior night? You know, I'm going to talk it over with uh, my wife and my son, and uh, I'd love to call his, his last home senior game to, uh, or, you know, help yeah, out. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We have a headset with your name on it whenever you want to sit in that chair. Well, thank you. It might hold back the tears for me, too. Absolutely. Man, so. <laughs> Trust me. I know what that's like. <laughs> you got to cry. It's better to yeah. Is it better TV? <laughs> better TV. <laughs> Come on, I'm so. giving out a, a autographed baseball That's right. here. <laughs> Lance, great job. All right, thank tonight. you. Either way, we'll be back you, here on uh, Tuesday the 28th for Senior Night against Harwood. Till then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.